Hello, my name is Lilith. I am the creator and business owner of Zig and Tala, a fashion art label based in Melbourne. And today I'm going to be showing you how to flip this lovely vintage jacket. Okay, just a little bit about myself. I call myself a fashion artist. I paint on clothes, any type of clothes. Leather jackets, denim jackets, blazers, skirts, jeans, pants, overalls, even couture. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to flip a vintage find like this into something uh, with a, to a new life. Something that you could wear around a lot more or like a statement piece. Just anything around that arena. So we've got this piece. It's it's a very peculiar leather jacket I find just with this uh, really weird shaped collar There seems to be a lot of um, A bit of a curve motif and a lot of the stitching here sort of like a rain It's like a rain jacket, but it's sort of a long leather jacket as well So not quite a trench. It's quite weird, but I like it and I think we could do something really cool with it I did a graphic. I did a jacket <laughs> I did this uh, sort of graffiti calligraphy tag sort of design on on this jacket and I really like it and I feel like just to start things off as a basic we're going to be doing that on this jacket. So usually when I am developing an idea or a concept for a piece of clothing there are two things I usually keep in mind. Uh, that is placement and colour. Placement is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's essentially where the design is going to be featured on the garment. When I first started doing what I did, a lot of my designs were very sort of back based because I guess that's, that's a place where there's lots of area. But um, as I've sort of progressed in my business, I found that there's so, there's just so many different places you can put something. Sleeves, collars, underarms, pockets. So you can be really creative with that. Uh, this design I'm going to do today, I've decided to do in the middle of the torso and it's going to be going around. It won't be on the sleeves, it'll just come around this torso bit because we've got such we've got such a long sort of space that we can use here and utilize and i've always just i've had this design sort of in the back of my head never really done it so i figured this is the time and obviously number two is color so when i first started out i used to just i wouldn't mix any of my paints and i used to just do big bright colorful designs there obviously is a time and place where you can use big bright colors like this jacket here i feel like you can get away with that more with denim jackets just jackets that people want to wear out to parties or to festivals but one of the things that I've been starting to sort of develop in my process is being able to appreciate the colour and the fabric of the garment that you're using and then picking a palette based on that just sort of makes something a little bit more sophisticated and stylized. It can make a piece more wearable. Right now because of the tone of this jacket or just like the general vibe I'm getting from it, I want to do the tag a little bit more sort of muted color scheme. I'll do a couple of browns that sort of tie in with the actual color of this jacket. So it is adding the design, but sort of not taking away and being too obnoxiously crazy. Basically I'm painting this on the, on the grounds of you can wear this However you want to wear it, the, the design isn't going to take away from what you can and can't wear from it. It's going to complement the jacket as a piece. 
obviously when you flip your own clothes you can choose whatever color and design I guess I'm just giving you a couple more options when I look for some inspiration for fonts, graffiti, or just anything, I might create a mood board. I didn't do that for this today because we're just going to have some fun. Um, I, did do a, I did do a sketch just to show you guys of what I mean by the graffiti tag I want to create. It's going to be sort of along the lines of uh, um, like a calligraphy graffiti. I'm going to stretch it out so that we have lots of different lines going up and down which is essentially going to accentuate the, the um, just the length of the jacket. This is what it's going to look like. I don't usually like sketching my designs up. I try to be a little bit more freeform when I paint but also obviously doing something like this just shows you what something's going to look like before you paint on the garment. Um, because the paint that we're using is very hard to get out once you put it on a fabric. So at least when you do it on this, you can refine it, you can perfect it and it'll look good. And you won't have that realization when you put it on the jacket. All the things that I really need for this flip today is I've obviously got the leather jacket, some paint brushes. Usually have like a variety of two or three, just to give you some options, and then some fabric paint. I use um, a French fabric paint. So the color, the first color I'm going to start out with is this um, nice sort of color you can't really see that the lighting's really bad in this place I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry it's really good it's a couple of tones lighter than this brown so it's gonna look really nice this will basically be my um, my base color for the tag before I paint on something I usually map out the sort of sections So I usually use fabric chalk when I do this, but fabric chalk won't really stick on leather. I'm just going to be using small dots of paint on areas where I know I'm going to be going over with paint. I usually use the tag to know where exactly the middle is, but I'm just going to do... Um, today, today's about fun. It's, supposed to be. So. dodgy but it's cool because we'll clean up all the lines and put everything into proportion when we've done the skeleton Two letters that I did first up were so wonky, so I had to go in and just sort of change those. I'll show you, I'll give you guys a close up, but as you can see, I've done just the outline of all the letters, keeping with the sort of like spiky top and bottom theme. Uh, yeah. quite rough really but it's okay because we're actually I feel like once we go in with all of the detail and the lines you're not actually going to be able to sort of decipher what it says so the next step with this is just going in and filling in all of the the shapes so that you we've got the body of the graffiti tag down 
Um, I'm just gonna do it with the same color that I did to outline and I'll show you guys what I'm up to then. Okay, we are back. Uh, I finished blocking out the letters and I'm quite happy with the project so far. I think the, the brown is looking really good against the like the lighter brown, the paint is looking really good against the leather, sort of reminding me of um, the Louis Vuitton leather bag print. Interestingly enough, not that I was going for that, especially because the tops and bottoms of these letters I've tried to do little sort of spike diamond shapes. It's all looking very plain. This is obviously the first layer. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a dark color and outline everything. Um, I would usually do this with a black, but keeping in with the theme, I'm probably just going to mix um, black with a couple of, like maybe just a little bit of orange, just, to, just so it has that sort of dark brown base rather than it being completely black because I feel like that would just stand out and not sort of coexist with the rest of the colors as well as it should. I don't have any pre-made dark browns but I just made this one. It sort of looks like glop. Oh, uh, I did it in a palette because I don't think I'll be needing that much. So yeah, it's just like a sort of more dark chocolate, more of a dark chocolatey brown. Essentially just this sort of shade with a bit more black mixed in. So we're gonna go and do the outline now. <laughs> So I'm back today and I uh, finished the outline of the letters um, with the really dark brown. Now what I need to do is I just need to go in with some shadows and I'm going to be using probably just a black paint for that just to sort of um, darken it up a bit. So hopefully that will work and then we'll do a light colour around that and then possibly another fine line. So it would, as to sort of imitate this picture that I've got here. Um, yep, so I'm just gonna go in with a thin black brush to do the shadows. And we are done. Super stoked how it all turned out. 
The colours are very subtle. I feel like it doesn't really take away from the leather jacket. It just sort of makes it look cooler. Um, yeah, so this is the finished product. I did end up using the word designer. Um, that's the best I could think of. It had to be an eight letter word so that I could paint it equally around the body. Um, and I was trying not to paint pandemic because I feel like that just would have been a bit of a trigger. So, <laughs> um, yeah, super stoked with the the product. Couple of lines that I did rush a little bit, but this was more of a just a fun project to do and to film. Um, so glad we went with the double lines and staying with the base colour of the letters. I just think it just ties together really well. So I hope this inspired you or made your day better. It just goes to see what you can do to um, upcycle a thrifted item just with imagination and fabric paint. Um, maybe I'll see you in the next video. Travel home in act, but they can't see I was born to be free